2, Palm 15 from the Fundamentals of Chapter 14. All right, so like I mentioned in the last video, what we're doing in these problems is um, finding the total energy uh, of state one, right? Which the total energy includes your kinetic energy, right? Plus your potential energies, or I guess the sum of your potential energy is state one, right? And then we know that your total energy at state one has to equal to your total energy at state two. Okay, very simple. So um, this problem introduces the spring. Okay, so now we're gonna have my collar here is gonna be moving up and down or just down for, in the, for this matter. All right, so it's gonna have a kinetic energy term. It's gaining or losing height or, or you know uh, it's moving in the y direction so there is a gravitational uh, there's work being done on it by gravity which is a conservative force and I believe it's smooth color we don't have to do anything with the with with the uh, what's it called friction and we have the potential energy which is being stored by the spring all right, so I want to show you guys a different way. So, you, if you've watched 1413, 1414, uh, try to you know, and you, and you like that approach, go ahead um, and keep keep doing it that way if you feel comfortable with it. In this case, I want to show you guys a different approach. So, what I'm going to do is just okay. What's my kinetic energy initial plus my potential energy initial plus my uh, spring potential energy initial. So uh, this is always um, L1 minus L initial. So this is like L naught is like the um, the length of the, the 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 spring itself. Okay. All this has to equal, so all this is my total energy. So this is total energy at state one. Okay, all of this has to equal my kinetic energy at point C plus your potential energy at point C plus your, poten your uh, spring potential energy at point C, okay, or state two. All right, so let's see. Let's read the problem here. So the two kilogram coll collar is given a downward velocity of four meters per second when it is at A. Okay, so we're given the kinetic energy, uh, our initial kinetic energy, okay? When it is at A, if the spring has an unstretched length of one meter, so unstretched length, unstretched length of one meter, that's your L naught. That's your unstretched length of the spring itself. Is one meter, and a stiffness of K, K is equal to thirty newtons per meter. Determine the velocity of the collar at S equals one. All right, so. This is, so right here, this is going to be my zero potential. So that's where your y is equal to zero, right? That way you know your potential at that point is going to be zero. All right? Um, all right, when s equals one, so s equals one meter, which is your, if, if we know s equals one, then we know our initial height as well. So we have this term the potential energy and we're given this term because at state A the, the length of the spring is stretched out to two meters right and we're looking for the velocity of color S or sorry the color at C and then um, we're gonna have to find out what this the stretched length at 
of the spring at C. Okay, so let's um, let's begin digging through this. Okay, um, so we have everything on the left hand side. We have we don't know this term. We know that H two, so Y two, right, is going to be zero, right, because that's at Y equals zero here, and and also we can we can also just write it down like this. I don't know if I kind of change it back and forth, but apologize for that. But yeah, it's H is the height, which is yeah in the Y Y direction. So at zero, so let's we don't know LC like I said before. So okay, let's find out what the length of this spring is. Let's switch a little bit of the color. So what is the length of this spring here? Okay, well that's very easy because. Um, I can just do Pythagorean theorem, right? Um, so I know this is LC, okay, which is the you know hypotenuse of this triangle. So I know LC is two squared plus one squared, okay? That's LC. All right. So let's go back to our big equation down here. We have one half um, times the mass, which is two. What's my velocity? It's four meters per second, so four squared plus, oops, plus the mass times gravity. Y one is one, right? Because S equals one. So this total distance here is one plus one half times thirty L one minus L zero or L naught, which that'll be two minus one squared equals this is what I'm looking for V Let's call V2 VC, just so we're just kind of consistent here. Uh, plus one half 30. And you're going to see this, that the way we solve for LC, you're going to see this very often in your problems, um, where it's Pythagorean theorem, find it, and then subtract it from, or subtract the original length from that. So here we have. 2 squared plus 1 squared minus 1, which is L naught squared. Okay? So you're going to end up with the following 16 plus 19.62 plus 15. Okay? That's equal to V2 squared or VC squared, sorry plus 15, All right, so that's this term over here, uh, times the square root of, that's 5 minus 1, all of this is equal to 1.528, okay, move everything to the left hand side, and isolate VC. And you're home, you're home free from here, which is equal to 5.26 meters per second. And that's it. That's the velocity of the collar at point C. So notice how here, um, I just went straight to the conservation of energy equation. I just, um, you know, I just into that equation I plugged in my kinetic energy plus my potential energy plus my spring potential and I made it equal to itself at state 2 and then from there it's just very easy to solve Okay.
All right, guys. Uh, so this sums up the problem. If you have questions, comments, just drop them down below. I'm, I'll probably get back to them uh, in a prompt, promptly manner. Uh, thanks for your time and attention. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next few videos. Thanks, guys.